forge, a little bit about my forge. I went with uh, Riverside Machine, uh, Uncle Al out there. He did a really good vertical blown forge. It was about the same price for me to make it as buy it, so I just went ahead and ordered it to be faster. I actually did some upgrades on the blower. I created a, like a wind tube in there. And then I have mine controlled with this really cool device. It's called a PID, which stands for Pulse Integral Derivative. You hear that clicking? That's because it's reached the right temperature. So how my PID works is I've got a thermal couple right here that goes in through the forge. I don't know if you can see it from there. You probably won't be able to see it in the forge, but see right there? It goes into the forge, and then that tells this computer right here through this wire how, how hot we are. This computer basically figures out when to turn on and off this solenoid, which is plumbed into the, um, the blower port. And so when it gets up to temperature, it kicks it off. And then when it feels like it's getting closer to a uh, lower temperature, it kicks it back on. Pretty simple, like a thermostat. Where pulse integral derivative comes in is, it's actually kind of often explained as basically like a, 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 a accelerometer. When you're going, when you're trying to maintain speed on the freeway, you don't just go full on and full off. So this thing kind of ramps up and ramps down. It might overshoot a little bit in the beginning, and then it turns itself off. I saw that it overshot, and it should get closer. So after it warms up a bit, it'll be a lot closer to staying the same temperature. Uh, ideally, I get about a five to 10 plus or minus swing on this, which is pretty good for an open air core.